I'm going to read off my phone. Millennials killing the paper industry. <laughs> so, I uh, hope you all enjoyed the vegan meal. <laughs> but if you didn't, I hope there are no more missed steaks this evening. <laughs> modern couple, not taking each other's names. I don't know why any Mancunian wouldn't want to take the name Hindley. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to share that name with such prestigious people as um, Australian cricketer Stephen Hindley? And I don't even know what's wrong with the name Burke. Uh, I am one, from a long line of Burks. I know that when my dad came over from Ireland, he would have never expected to see his kids getting married. And he never did, because he died in 2018. I know his absence is felt every day, but I know he's especially missed today. I can just imagine what he'd say today. It'll be something like, Oh, to do, to do, to do, to <laughs> Great pictures that Alex has drawn, and you should see some of the pictures Steph draws. <laughs> it's done a monster made out of woolies, and uh, another one where it's a giant throbbing willy, weeding out a load of other smaller willies. I'm surprised to see he's marrying a woman. Steph and Alex make a lovely couple. They spend all day working on each other on a table smaller than any of the tables you saw today. If I had, did that with my beloved, I would strangle her. So they must really love each other or have very weak hands. I remember in the early days of their relationship, Steph lived in a van and he drove us all to a damnation festival. Alex had a normal amount of drinks, and Steph was on his best behavior with his new girlfriend, and was absolutely fucked out of his face. <laughs> In the middle of a particularly cathartic set by Amon Ra, he turned around and asked the contemplative audience, have you ever thought that none of this matters? <laughs> Alex barely blinked an eye, and I thought, she must really fancy him. <laughs> oh, she must want half of his van. <laughs> uh, but maybe it all does matter. You know, love, family, friends, and things like that. On a day like today, it certainly seems that way. So I'd like you to all raise your glasses to the bride and groom and to love and to friends and to family and to things like that. I hope you all find meaning in your lives or peace with a lack of meaning, whatever works for you. Thank you very much.